take Arnold seriously or not because only because he's famous. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is a politician. There's no getting around that. Why would they want to recall a guy like me? I don't understand. I don't get it. You know, why would we vote him in less than a year ago and then all of a sudden decide that he should be out? Di dalam sebuah negara yang demokratis seperti Amerika Serikat, rakyat bebas mengeluarkan pendapatnya. Warga yang kritis terbiasa secara langsung menilai kinerja seorang pemimpin. Di negara bagian California, penduduk yang merasa tidak puas dengan situasi perekonomian di wilayahnya memutuskan untuk merikol gubernur California, Gray Davis, dan menggantikannya dengan gubernur baru Arnold Schwarzenegger tanggal 7 Oktober silam. Pemirsa, di dalam episode ini, saya Santi Ruyastuti mempersembahkan pengalaman demokrasi rakyat California saat memilih gubernur barunya. Ada berbagai jenis pemilihan umum di Amerika. Contohnya pemilihan calon anggota Kongres Amerika Serikat setiap 2 tahun sekali dan pemilihan gubernur negara bagian setiap 4 tahun sekali. bagian California menyelenggarakan pemilihan recall. Pemilihan ini sedikit berbeda, seperti kata Thomas Garrett dari kantor Institut Republik Internasional di Jakarta. In California, the law does allow for recall elections and also for an election means referendum or initiative election. What that means is that uh, separate from the standard elections which take place every two or four years. to take place was only introduced in California in 1911. As you mentioned, since that time there have been 31 attempts to remove governors by recall election. This is the first time that the citizens were actually able to collect the number of signatures needed to force this election. Citizens had to register their intention to force this election with the state and then in a short period of time they had to collect over 1 million signatures and I believe they collected 1.6 million signatures to make this election happen. Pernahkah pencinta film action terpikir bahwa kemunculan Schwarzenegger sebagai aktor di dalam film ini bisa jadi yang terakhir kali? And today, and today, California has given me the greatest gift of all. You've given me your trust for voting for me. Thank you very much to all the people of California for giving me the great trust. Bagaimana seorang aktor tanpa pengalaman politik sama sekali bisa menjadi gubernur negara bagian California, Amerika Serikat? You know, people, uh, as I said earlier today, the trend is different this year. People don't like what's going on in government. They're paying higher energy prices. They're paying higher gasoline prices. They're paying higher vehicle license fee. Schools aren't doing too well. Jobs are going to other states. Untuk menggerakkan kembali roda perekonomian, pengalaman sebagai politisi rupanya tidak penting. Uh, everybody seems to think that it's more important to have a background in running government. Um, I've never believed that. This country was kind of built up on amateur governing bodies, and that, that's the way I think it should be in California as well. Schwarzenegger, dipercayai rakyat karena dia tidak pernah melakukan dosa publik. Ini menurut seorang profesor ilmu politik dari Universitas Southern California. There's a great skepticism and a great distrust on the part of voters of full-time politicians. And the image of Schwarzenegger is not that. And that's been very helpful to me. And people are angry. Meskipun 26 dari 50 negara bagian Amerika mengizinkan rakyat merikol gubernur mereka, baru dua negara bagian yang menerapkannya. Gray Davis adalah gubernur kedua dalam sejarah Amerika yang mengalami emosi tidak percaya ini. Pemilihan recall pertama berlangsung di negara bagian Dakota Utara tahun 1921 saat gubernur Lynn Fraser digeser dari pangkuk kepemimpinan. We've had a lot of good nights over the last 20 years, but tonight the people 
did decide it is time for someone else to serve, and I accept their judgment. I have placed the call to Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mr. Place a call to Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger um, just a few minutes ago to congratulate him on being elected governor. Stand uh, best wishes for myself and my wonderful wife Sharon to he and Maria. Di dalam politik Amerika, normalkah jika rakyat yang marah terhadap situasi ekonomi berikol gubernurnya? As you mentioned, it's only happened twice in the history of the United States that an elected governor has been removed during his term in office. The other time occurred, I believe, in the 1920s, and now we have something happening in 2002. So you can see it's not a very common process. I believe most American voters are willing to wait and allow their governor, whoever they've elected to office, allow them time to show what they're capable of doing. Besides that, elections occur so frequently in the United States. Usually, voters just save up their anger for the next election. Sebaliknya, para pendukung mantan gubernur Ray Davis justru melihat Partai Republik lah yang marah, bukan rakyat California. Proses recall ini, kata mereka, merupakan cerminan dari keinginan Partai Republik merebut California dari Partai Demokrat. We want. A recall is akin to an impeachment. It's similar to an impeachment. You impeach for high crimes and misdemeanors, for gross malfeasance and all You don't impeach because somebody's not popular. Uh, our economy's in a on a downturn right now, but so are the economies of 47 other states. So is the national economy. Seorang pendukung Davis bahkan menuduh upaya Partai Republik merebut pimpinan dari Partai Demokrat menjadi sebuah pola yang berlangsung dari satu negara bagian ke negara bagian lain. Sebuah pola yang berawal dari negara bagian Florida tahun 2000 saat Presiden Amerika Serikat George W. Bush dari Partai Republik menang melawan mantan Wakil Presiden Al Gore. Terlepas dari tuduhan Partai Demokrat terhadap Partai Republik, faktanya pemilih yang dulu memilih Davis kini berbalik merikol gubernur andalan Partai Demokrat itu. Untuk Profesor Sherry Babich Shefi, proses recall gubernur Davis ini menguntungkan karena menjadi contoh bagus sebuah pendidikan kewarganegaraan. As a professor and as a citizen, I think it's fine that people are energized and are debating. Nobody talks politics in California. You go into any restaurant now and the words, Schwarzenegger, the Clinton, this car text just flows through the room. It's never happened before. 